Mark was a great teammate. I mean, he was a great athlete as well. For instance, he didn't play just basketball. He played football, basketball, and baseball. Anytime I needed anything done on the field, I just called Mark's number and he was there. He could catch, he could rebound, he could score in basketball. He was just an unbelievable athlete. Mark was just an all around great guy and nobody was his enemy. He just loved being with everybody. Um, and we all just looked up to him really because of his character. He, he cared about everybody. He didn't think anybody was less than anybody else, so. I think the thing that I really, that really impresses me about Mark is that he, back then, he just had this ability to make things better for all of those around him, whether it be uh, uh, friends in the hall, uh, his teammates, uh, and his, uh, the school in general. He, he had a very positive influence on everybody, and he kind of set the bar high. Uh, it was awesome uh, playing against Mark, uh, a great competitor, uh, very respectful, great guy, uh, great leader, uh, great person to know. Mark was very competitive, but uh, he made sure that, that everybody got uh, an opportunity to uh, touch the ball or, or get involved in the offense. So uh, Mark was one of those types, he could look one way and, and pass another way. Well, you, the thing I remember about Mark is he had a, 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 an extraordinary ability to, uh, to see behind him. So as he'd be dribbling the ball down the court, He'd see you trailing him, and if they came up to guard him, he would be backward passes behind the back, you know, and you gotta be ready for it. He was a sophomore in high school and played varsity on the number one team in the state that included guys like uh, Jim Salas and Cal Glover and uh, Clifford Petit and Steve Amidon. As a sophomore, Mark was a star on that team. I believe he was maybe the third leading scorer for the season on that team. It was just a phenomenon. Mark was, he had a lot of talent and he used that to the highest ability that he, he gave it his all and everybody enjoyed seeing him use that. Everybody was in awe of him, you know, and everybody, his opponents, everybody feared him. He was just uh, a well-known name in one year, his name just exploded in Rockford, in, in Rockford sports. And because of that, West High was really successful. And I think he tried to do the best he could at everything he did. Well, he, you know, he, he was all conference in football with me. And uh, he was two-time All-State basketball. Mark Sibley deserves to be in the Hall of Fame here because he exemplified what everybody wanted to be you know, as far as athletics and academics. And he set an example for other people here in Rockford. Everybody here knows him. And all over Chicago, they know him. And uh, all over Illinois. Well, I think, I think he deserves it because he added value to every relationship he had, whether it was just a casual with, the, with students that it, at, at school, uh, but his teammates as well. And uh, he made life better for the people around him. That's a great thing. Well, I believe he, he deserves it because uh, Mark is, first of all, uh, a man of God. And uh, secondly, he loved his family. And, and then he loved sports. You know, he loved people. And uh, I just believe it's deserving. He worked hard. Uh, whatever he did, he always uh, wanted to uh, um, achieve to be the best or do his best. I just want to say cheers to you, Mark, for making our class of 69 unforgettable and as special as we are to everybody. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for the memories. You really you had a very positive impact on all of your classmates and, and the people that you played, your teammates, and even your opponents. And you had an impact on me, and I appreciate that. So thank you. Congratulations, you are a true uh, scholar, athlete, and a gentleman, and we're all proud of you. Remember the Warriors. And I just want to say congratulations uh, to
to my friend, my brother, uh, a man that I truly love, honor, and respect, and that is of Mark Sibley.